There we go. We're live. You just got notification. Live. You just got notification on your phone. Hit that button. Press it. It's playing. There's like 20 seconds. Oh. And now he's crashed. Frozen. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Right, here we go. Do it again. Do it again. Just, just to pretend that never happened. Just stick him on again. Stick him on quick, quick, quick. Uh. Uh. Shh, shh. Like we do normally. Shh. It'll happen, I promise. It's playing. Sometime. Yeah. Sometime this week. <laughs> Is it backwards? No. Yeah, that's enough of that. That's silly. Good evening, welcome to Bait Talk UK episode one nine two. We should have named this episode Tech Trouble. Tech Trouble, Computer Trouble. Oh, we should have named this episode Control Delete. Control no, I'm using the Mac. Yeah. You should be using the Mac as well, Keith Keith. Keith. Chris. You should be. No, I'm on a PC at the minute. My mate's borrowing my Mac. Like a good friend that I am. You're a good fella. I'm sometimes. How are we all? Um, <sighs> Apart from obvious tech trouble, are we all all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. Busy as hell. Yeah. Busy as hell. I've been off today. My mother's come up to visit, though. I haven't seen her yet, thank God. I mean, uh, I haven't seen her yet. Oh. Did I meet your mum? Well, I'd hope so, Dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the wedding. I thought I can't. I'm struggling to picture her. She probably had an outrageous outfit on and a hat of some kind. Was... That, that, that runs it down to half the <laughs> half the guest there. Well, this is true. This is true. She she uh, looked angry. All the time. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Not Lindsay, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, so, yeah. What's everyone been up to? I Eventful book, day? I booked my car in for a service. That's about as interesting as it is. Picked up some new, some new tech. Um, and, yeah, no, it's been, it's been all right. It's been a good week, one way or another. And I started from filming some reviews again, which I've been lax on the last couple of weeks. So I've got like three filmed, and now they've just got to be edited and uploaded. Oh, do you know what? I, I've never spent so much of my time on a video editing software until I started uploading videos to YouTube. Fuck me, it's tedious. Do you see why every six months or so I just don't do it for a month? Because... Oh, what? Robot? That just Cass? Or has everyone got robot? Uh, no, no, I don't know. You went to robot a little bit. Can you hear me? Cass's is really bad. Is mine all right? Is mine that bad? It was a bit robotic, yeah. Is it better now? No, not really. Oh, good. Press uh, F5. Uh, I, I, no, because I'm on a Mac. I'll just hit refresh. <laughs> Same thing. I think we're... I think we're just as bad, aren't we, Chris? Oh, no idea. Apparently, they they've got uh, all of us is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna refresh quickly it's anyway, just in case. Yeah, uh, uh, something it's about the... YouTube Hangouts is absolutely spanking my computer. <sighs> <sighs> right, activity monitor. <laughs> Um, Am I in? Oh, everyone's like, yeah, fine, this end. So it's just us. Um, 
I forgot what I was talking about. Um, um, the colonoscopy, I think it was. Oh yeah, no, yeah. So I'll do like six months of like releasing regular, regular videos, and then one month I just cannot face Final Cut. Um, so Ooh. I will just not do it for three weeks, and then it's like bam, loads of videos. So I'm now over that hump of not being able to face Final Cut and doing it again which is quite nice see what what i do is i get myself into a rhythm and i do about eight in one day and then just schedule uploading for a week and then i've got to worry about it for another week <laughs> yeah see I, I try not to do too many because a i've got a limited amount of products to review unlike you who's got 30 million decks of cards and b like more than two a week and people just don't watch them as much for see, me, i anyway. release i release one a day how many decks of cards have you got uh, around a thousand. So you've got the next three years worth of videos then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fair and enough. it means I can put off opening the really expensive, really nice ones. Because mm. I don't have to worry about it until I start running out of content. <laughs> well, this is it. This is it. What are we vaping on anyway, guys? Uh, I am vaping on the Orion, as usual. And in that, I have some this stuff, uh, the flower and apple. How have you not got through that yet? Because I've got I've I've got so many different nick salts. I just do one flavor at a time. So I do a tank's worth of one flavor, and then I'll change the flavor. Okay. I don't change the tank. Like usually, I'll just fill the same pot up. But I just do a different. I just work my way around in cycles. Jeffries is really good for like the second tank because it's got a really strong flavor, so it overpowers whatever shit was in there before. Yeah. But it's just how I make all the stuff that I like last. The only thing that I'm really depressed I'm running out of is um, cherry cola. Okay. Oh, it's, uh, it's upsetting me because I've got no it's more. the juice sauce one. Yeah, yeah. I've got no more. <laughs> um, but yeah. Fair enough. Mm. What are you vaping up? I've got a new pickup this week. Courtesy of Mark... Uh, although he didn't give it to me, I am buying it off of him. Um, I have got the namesake of this show, the Squid Industries V3. Okay. <laughs> Go away, <child. laughs> Back in a minute. All right. Um, I've got the Squid Industries V3, and atop said mod, I have got the Wake Mod Co. Littlefoot MTL RTA. That is a mouthful. Um, and it's possibly the best mod I've ever owned. But we'll get more into the mod later. Um, I'm running um, Elements Honey Roast Tobacco uh, NS20 through this, and it is absolutely drinking it, and I'm loving it. It's good. Um, but yeah, I've had it what Saturday. I've had it since Saturday. I, I've charged the batteries once since then, running at 14 watts with a point uh, 1.2 coil in it. So really, really happy with it. And it's probably one of the best setups. And in fact, actually, this is the only setup I've been using since Saturday. I haven't touched any of my pod systems. I haven't touched pretty much anything since I picked this up. So yeah, very enjoyable. Mark? Me? I, um, I've i actually got something cloudy tonight. And Ooh. got the SVA Punto Zero uh, on top. What is that? I don't even know what I'm vaping on. Uh, da, 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 da. It. Oh, it's the Haku. Um, Haku with a... Is that a man's cap on top? I'll kind of just screw it back in the box. Um, with a black cap. And in that, I am vaping on elderflower and apple from Jeff Roy's Vintage Vibes. Um, I also had a couple of new pickups this week. Um, the first being um, the OBS Cube. What do you think of it? I don't mind it. How are you finding not, the battery life? Not too bad running at 11 watts. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, I managed to get a day out of a charge, give or take. They're ni nice feel mods, even though the, the colours have stupid names, so it's impossible to match the mods up with the boxes when you're trying to sell it to someone. It's like, would you like this in Elf or Aurora? And you're like, what? No, mine's just ink. Oh, okay. 
Um, yeah, yeah, the resin, the resin ones are quite nice. It's um, yeah. Um, also picked up K Fun Twenty Two back end of last week. Really, really enjoying that. Um, in fact, other than the little foot, um, that's all I've been really using. Um, little foot. Uh, was I using a little foot? Oh my god. What? Look what I just found. Make noise. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. You smashed yeah. it. Yeah. It looks like it, and I've only just noticed. Whoops. It's all right. You get a spare glass in the box. I do. I don't know where the box is, though. Um, don't be gutted about that because we're supposed to be talking about that tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just one of those nights. <laughs> I'll protect mine. Chris? Yes? You look like a tennis ball. Where's your hair gone? <laughs> I decided to take going bald gracefully. and uh... How is it? That's my next step. You, you're, you, I honestly, no offence. I really don't mean any offence by this. Uh, but, but when you took your hat off <laughs> the other week, I thought, yeah, I'm going to look like that in a week's time. I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it liberating? It is. It is. I look like Action Bronson, though. If you don't know who that is, uh, there he is. Oh. There. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I've come to terms with the fact I look a bit like Action Bronson. So, uh, but, yeah, it, it'll do. I'm, a, I'm all right with it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Oh yep. dear. Uh, let me know when you do yours and we can uh, both look like a pair of boiled eggs that have been rolled for a cat basket. <laughs> I, I, I think I was, I was quite lucky with the hair. You were. I, I'm just a, a floppy, hairy bastard. You see, both my dad and my brother um, both lost their hair quite young um but i must have got the milkman's jeans or something because i've been quite lucky <laughs> my dad went bald really early my brother's been shaving his head bald since i was a kid so i don't even know what he looked like with hair uh my little brother looked, resembles a pug so <laughs> a pug he's not really as in a dog yeah yeah, yeah. Incredible. or a sharp a when they're little and they've got all these little rolls of fat <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so uh, yeah, I decided to to take it on the chin. And do, do you know what? Actually, I, I had a shower. I got out of the shower this morning, and my hair looked all right. And I was like, oh, do you know what? I don't know if I should get it cut. And I was like, nah, I've decided I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So I went down to the barbers, and I'm sitting in the chair. And he says, "What do you want?" And I'm like, uh, 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 uh. And then I, I said I wanted it. And then the second he did it, I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. But now, just, feel, now I feel all right. It's you feel like back. shaving it down to skin then? I, w I was going to, but uh, no, decided against it. Fair enough. Um, I think we should get straight on with bits and bobs and stuff. Mm. Um, should we do some news? Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da -da. That's Crystal Maze. Yeah, that is the Crystal Maze. Right. Let me just screen share works in Hangouts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give me a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Now I've got that in my head. So cheers, bruh. Da, 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 da. Going to Cory. Is it Cory or Emmerdale? Do, 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 right. Can you present me, please, sir? Thank I don't you. Know if he's there. Oh, he is. No, no, he's not. I've just got to keep talking whilst it's happening. Right. No, you're not presenting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pow. There we go. All right, I can do it if I miss it. Sweet. Right, so straight on with the news. So it turns out, this is a BBC report, uh, that Newport shops are selling products to underage teens. So vaping products were illegally sold to underage teenagers in half of all shops, tested in one Welsh city as shitty, one Welsh city as part of a BBC Wales investigation. 
Uh, two 16-year-olds fitted with secret cameras by the X-Ray program were sold age-restricted vape liquid at 10 out of 20 shops tested in Newport. By law, shops should not be selling vaping products to anyone under the age of 18, and the UK Vaping Industry Association blamed unscrupulous retailers and called for better enforcement. Uh, for many people quitting smoking, vaping is a good alternative, but there are fears it is becoming glamorized. Um, basically, pupils at that place, a Welsh medium secondary school near Neath, said children, sometimes as young as 11, were vaping for a number of reasons. Um, and I believe that when they see the older pupils in the school experimenting with these different types of vapes, they think it's how to fit in, one pupil said. Um, quite interesting, really. I, What do we think about it? Well, it's interesting because I've... The, uh, something that I don't know if you guys could see what I put on the uh, agenda for tonight, mm. but this kind of uh, um, fits into one of the articles that I've put on there. Um, because although they are allowing the sale to people under 18, it kind of it's not ne no, not that one. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's the one, that's the one, yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, I really wanted the opportunity to do this, bastard. Sorry, uh, do, you, do you want me to unshare? No, it's fine. You can share. Okay. So, um, yeah, it, it's a so it's a study basically um, testing whether the increase in popularity of vaping is in, is causing more young people to start vaping or using cigarette products slash electronic cigarette products and the study that they found based on 1999 and 2015 so 1999 being a sort of a medium i suppose before you know electronic cigarettes were popular popularized or even in well say even invented there was something that was invented before that i think but it wasn't widely available um and then they did one in 2015 in the peak they say that's the peak of when these cigarettes were being used um and it shows that actually there is no increase in usage it's just been displaced so the equivalent number of teenage smokers back in 1999 has not been overtaken by the equivalent numbers of electronic cigarette using teenagers now yeah so actually despite the fact it is being sold to young people um like your article states it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's having any effect on the numbers of people that are using them hmm. and i think that's a really interesting a very key point because you think i've been sm i was smoking since i was about on and off since i was about 14 and it was smoking age was 16 when i was 14 um and i was on under obviously buying them and when it went up to 18 i was just under 18 um and i was still buying them then so it's not necessarily that it's even any more of a of a thing that happens because you know it always it's always happened people underage have been buying products underage for years it just it, this is a new product to be sold to underage people because it's an over 18 product that's been released it wasn't out 10 years ago well it was but you know what i mean yeah so i think it's just interesting how uh yes they found shops in wales that were selling you know vape products to under 18s but there's also probably a lot of like news agents and corner shops that are selling cigarettes to under 18s as well so it, it, it's not really got any grounds for me and you know I think I think it does highlight the importance of if we're to be taken seriously and it's not to be marketed at kids that vaping more so even smoking is definitely uh, we've got to be hard on people who are selling it to underage people because that is just going to be another bow in the arrow of people trying to take vaping down. Um, and, they're oh, yeah, absolutely. and they're quite happily ignore the fact that people have been buying cigarettes underage for decades. Mm -hmm. um, just because they go, well, you, you people are selling it to them underage, so we'll just ban it. You're talking 15 years ago, you could have gone down to the shop and picked up your granny a packet of fags. Do you know what I mean? Your nan knew the local shopkeeper, and they'd give you your, your nan's fags, and you'd take them home. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's not a lifetime ago. No, no, it's not. Right. Um, <coughs> sorry. So, 
Uh, that's not the one. This is what I'm looking for. So, as we all know, uh, e-cigarette flavor. Hang on. Hang on. Could be, be, before we go on, mm -hmm. you know, it, it obviously got a mention in the title um, of the. <laughs> what? Oh, here I am. Um... <sighs> yes, I think it's an issue. I think there's a lot of um, pressure being put on, whether it be the government or, or the industry as a whole, hmm. um, with regards to underage sales. Um, I know um, I know the guys on the RDLM show on Thursday last week were saying that... Um, um who was it vibe no another arsehole brand um was sending people in and age checking yeah the people that stock their products um but then they also went out of their way to age check shops that didn't stock their product yeah <laughs> which one it makes it at least a fair a fair test but you know when they're sending any fucking shop under the sun a load of their products for free in order to stock them they can't be they're not being picky about who they sell or give their products to so why are they being picky about whether they're selling them to underage people well this is this is the best thing i have a little bit of inside information that what these sales reps are also doing is that if the sales staff decide to tell the um this is for Jewel. Decide to tell customers that the pods can be hacked and therefore refilled. They're actually sending in secret shoppers and putting sh shops on a three strike list. Um, basically saying, well, you've told people that they're hackable and we don't want you to tell them. And then they're saying, basically turning around and saying, well, we'll just refuse to send you products. And vape shops are turning around and saying, well, mate, you need us more than we need you. So jog on. Yeah, that's the way it should be. I mean, I'm not being funny, but, you know, it's a very, very strange scenario to be in where you give someone something to sell. You, you're not putting any value in what you're giving them, clearly, because you're giving it to them. There's a market, val there's a, uh, a market value to you of zero. Um, you're giving this product to someone to sell who didn't necessarily ask for it, didn't necessarily go out their way to, to, to get it, and then you're saying, well, I'll take it off you if you don't stop telling people stuff. And it's like, well, you're not giving it to me in order to be able to censor what I say and what I do in my own shop. You're giving me it, giving me it because otherwise I wouldn't stock it. So it's a very interesting uh, but that, tactic. That, that's tobacco companies all over telling shops how to sell and stock their product. And that mentality just won't fly in vape shops because people will just tell them to get lost. You see, I know, I know some of these um, um, big tobacco-owned companies. They're used to walking into a supermarket and going, "Right, that goes there, that goes there." They've got a, a planogram. They've got a planogram of exactly how each shelf will look, whether it's bread, whether it's coke, whether it's shepherd's pie, whether it's cigarettes. There, there's a planogram of how it looks and how it appears. Obviously, prior to them having to shut everything into metal, metal containers. Yeah. Um, but I know, I know you had a similar issue with them walking into your store, didn't they? And telling you where, was it you, Cass, telling you where to put things? Yeah, 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 they did. Yeah, they told us where to put things and, well, not so much where to put things. It was trying to come up with ideas to put things in a shop that it just wasn't going to happen with. And the thing was, is it was a case of, we tell, we, we, if we want to have your product, we will put it in the bin if we want to. Like, we'll do with it what we want now that we've bought it. Because at the end of the day, it's now ours to do with what we want, um, or not, or not bought it as the case may be. Well, mm. in this case, exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know how they're making money sending the amount of stock they do out to various shops, um, but the point is that doesn't matter. They don't have control over the shops that they're nothing to do with. And when you start bossing staff around, you're going to start pissing people off. Um, and, and, and doing, doing things like changing promotions before previous promotions have even ended. Like, what are they doing? It makes no sense. And it's actually easier for vaping to just go, well, fuck you then. If it's too complicated and you're going to put all these constraints on us, why should we even bother dealing with you? We don't need your input. We don't need your product. We're successful without you. 
So make it easy or fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, selling to kids is bad. Um, obviously, America's getting bad press at the moment, and obviously, we don't want to be in a similar. Whatever happened to the days? Do, do you get kids um, standing outside corner shops going, hey, mister, can you, can you get me 10 mils of menthol, 12 milligram? No, no they, don't need, they don't need that anymore because uh, or they just go to Wales on their holidays. They can buy it themselves. <laughs> or you just buy it online. You can yeah. buy cigarettes online. Yeah. But, you know, it's no different to buying something you're embarrassed about buying. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, you, you know, like, I don't know. It's it's a weird it's a weird thing where you feel awkward about buying normal everyday items. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not strange to buy a two foot dildo. It's just normal. <laughs> to you. Not 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 that I bought one. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what I mean? That they're you know it's kind of in the same category. If you can't get it locally, you get it online. And it's simple. But kids aren't even trying anymore. I mean, we had one lad in, and he literally walked out of his group of mates who had clearly just come out of college and went, yeah, can I get some of that? And I was like, how old are you, mate? And he was like, 15. It's like, not a chance. It's like, at least disappear from your mates and don't let me see that before you come in. Like, they're just not even trying anymore. Mm. The length I went to to get cigarettes underage was unreal. I grew a beard. I, I eventually that's what I did. I I still can't grow a proper beard. I've got patches, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I was fortunate enough. People, I think I filled my skin out more. Does that make sense? You're fat. <laughs> I was fat. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I I wasn't actually as fat as I have become, but I was a larger lad. So. I look like a fucking a little Phil Mitchell going in there. Awesome. Um, let me move on to the next article. All right, I'm just going to share the old screen again. Here we go. Uh, okay, that'll do. Share, and that's the chat. That's not what I want. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, what was I looking at? It was this thing. So, like I was saying, as we know, a lot of flavors are banned in San Francisco, and they are looking at taking it that one step further. So it says, last year, all flavored e-liquids were banned throughout the city of San Francisco. Now, Dennis Herrera, the city attorney, is looking to go one step further and ban e-cigarettes in the Californian city. Um, the attitudes towards vaping in the USA differ wildly to those seen in the UK, and research shows that in the UK, youth vaping is negligible. However, US officials claim that in the States, it's a real issue. An outright ban on e-cigarettes is therefore being seriously considered in San Francisco. Um, the ban is based on the FDA's failure to produce an evaluation of the effects of e-cigarettes on public health. Um, so this would be a landmark piece of legislation as it would make San Francisco the first US city to impose such a ban. Regulation in San Francisco is already strict in terms of both vaping and traditional smoking. Uh, it's also banned in parks and public squares within the city and San Francisco is not the only city to employ a hardline approach to vaping. Uh, regulations on vaping vary from state to state. Notably, New York and Chicago are particularly strict. Uh, what do we think? I think if they're already strict on cigarettes, um, it, they're not penalising vapors. They are treating them in the same light as you would uh, as you would a smoker, which is not really, you know, it's kind of pr primitive almost you know what i mean because now we're getting to a point now where uh the, you know the you the nhs the governing board for like life insurance and stuff they're treating vaping as if you don't smoke whereas in america like well in san francisco that they're, they're treating it as bad as smoking which isn't good especially for public perception but i think you know what the fuck are they going to do if you vape and you live in san francisco you do you know what i mean it, it's going to be like I don't know how the fuck it, if people want to vape they're going to vape do you know what I mean the same way that if people in the UK want to take drugs they take drugs you know they just <laughs> you'll find a 15 year old like sleeping on a mattress in a bush next to some garages and you'll go oh mate you know have you been tangled up in homelessness and drugs no I got caught vaping and kicked out of my apartment <laughs> and now I, I sleep rough sniffing jewel pods do you know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I've got one word. One word to this. Prohibition. Yep. Prohibition. 
And what happens? And look what happens. Goes underground. I'm sorry, it goes underground, and you'll be we're you'll going be, deeper underground. You'll be you'll be snorting snorting lines of Heisenberg off a hooker's back before you know it. Yep. Or you just cross state lines. <laughs> like this is the dumb thing about America is because they've got state to state law. You just cross state lines and go and do whatever you want in a different state. I mean, you have to live for relatively close to the state line to nip out for a quick vape after your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that does to the price of property in that particular area. Do you have like a, a line of vapors' houses, and they're all paying like twenty percent over market value for their property just so they can s nip outside, step over the state line, and have a quick toot? Well, when I worked in Geneva in Switzerland, I went for a walk one day, and I ended up just walking for hours. And uh, I ended up in France. And I was like, fuck me, that's close. Well, I'd walked maybe five, six miles. And um, I'd gone out to a uh, to pub or to a meal that evening. And I was talking to people that worked in France, that uh, worked in Switzerland, but lived in France. And they said they'd just buy a house right by the Swiss border, mm. drive in, work, and earn four times the money. And then drive home because the cost of living in Geneva is so high that the wages need to be high to offset it. So they can, it's absolutely insane. You know, you could work in McDonald's an hour drive away in, in, in Geneva, not that there's a McDonald's in Geneva, but uh, and get paid three times what you get paid working in a McDonald's in France. Do you think they'll reasonably be able to enforce a ban or do you think they'll actually get it through? It's going to be like the TV licensing people, isn't it? They're going to like threaten you with a bloke in a van, and he never turns up. And then when he does turn up, you just say, you've got no right to enter my property, and shut the door in his face. And... Do you reckon they'll oh, yeah. go around with vans with like strawberry milkshake smell detectors on them, being like, they're vaping in that house? Chris, oh. you're, you're, not, you're not one of those people that's revoked access to the television license people have you i've never had a visit from them they're welcome to come around and look around the house i've got a tv license oh. but, <laughs> <laughs> but no uh, to be honest I, I never paid for one until i became an adult and just realized that there's a lot of shit bills i don't want to pay that i have to like the tax man so uh you just sort of come to terms with it don't you but i i would be if i didn't have a if i didn't have a license the same way if i did have something illegal on me and a policeman asked to search me, I'd be awkward about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I've what, what else have I got? Let me have a quick look. I've got some interesting ones this week, so I want to get through quite yeah. a few. I'll go and do one while you're looking for your next one. If you want. Let's go for a positive, Cass. This is positive. The Sun, with positive news about vaping. <laughs> so... So the Sun have put out this to, uh, today, yesterday, 20th is same, of April. Today. Is this the same one as yours, Cass? Uh, no. No. So, no. Uh, vape and save. So the health benefits obviously don't matter to a lot of English people, you know, seeing as we all eat shit and do shit we shouldn't do and abuse our bodies in ways we shouldn't do. Uh, so they've gone for the whole monetary thing because nothing Brits like more than to save a couple of quid. Um, vape and save. Smokers who switch to vaping will save at least £614 a year, study claims. So British smokers that switch to vaping will save £1.1 billion a year after stubbing out new research reveals. Now, before I go into any more about this article, just that figure there alone, £1.1 billion a year is what we're saving. So that's what we're, Hang on, hang on. Not only is it, is it saving, it's what we're taking out of Big Tobacco's hands. Th that's exactly where I was going with it. So we're, we're saving that. So that's also including the offset in the devices that we buy. So whatever the cost of vaping is, so I don't know how they've calculated it, because on paper, if you smoke 20 fags a day, you, you cost you like saying like £3,000 a year. Uh, and if you're vaping and you spend a fiver a week on liquid... You know, there's a massive difference there. So I'm not entirely sure what the figures that they are, but say say that's 50% saving. Say they've estimated that you spend 700 quid a, a year on smoking. So that, that's 2.2 billion a year, which is obviously a lot less than that. Uh, it actually is. But 2.2 billion a year that big tobacco aren't getting. And this is why when in the 
dawn of the F, uh, the TPD, a lot of big tobacco companies were straight up just avoiding uh, getting involved in it and just saying about everything being negative, despite there was a lot of, of positive benefits. And then I've obviously seen that they're not going to win over the people that are certain that vaping's safer than smoking, and they want their cut of this 2.2 billion, and this is why they're all developing e-cigarette products. But um, yeah, so smokers save on average 300, 346 quid. Um, it's a detailed study about the financial implications of buying a packet of fags uh, is one main consideration for those who now vape instead. So a lot of people are switching to vaping purely because they can't afford to spend a tenner on a pack of fags. As well as saving cash, smelling better, having no smoker's cough, they're also <coughs> paid as the reasons why people switched. So... 3.2 million people who vape collectively save 1.1 billion. Uh, and a poll of 1,790 Brits, this was a process of uh, more than half did it to save money. So it's just a really interesting thing because it, the saving money is something that we as vape companies or vape device manufacturers or whatever have put across the financial benefits, but it's not something that's publicly backed uh, by mainstream media it's usually when it comes to like the likes of the sun it's usually very negative press public health england go for the positive health aspects but they don't really go on about the, the potential savings so i think this is a really positive article considering its source um you know they go on to mention health benefits and stuff and they how uh people that have gone cold turkey have been less successful than people that vape um, and then they've got this dude here that just looks very cool. Um, but apart from that, uh, yeah, that's uh, my article. We, we, we've got to do other news at the bottom of the page. Bring it back, Chris. Oh. What what do we have at the bottom of the page? What are our other options? And we've lost Chris as well. 37 and 59 eligible. Oh, no, that's oh. bullshit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. People in Bucksburn are taking up a brilliant funeral plan. So that's local news. So it's obviously going off my uh, fucking IP address. Do the right thing. Jerry McCann sends a coded message to him. Sent a code message to get him to come clean about Maddie. What? Oh, so he's been sent a coded message. Interesting. Um, oh, grand nose breast. I breastfeed my 10-month-old daughter. And so does my mum. Does that grand realise she doesn't need to get both boobs out to breastfeed? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to keep the baby warm. Fold it over him like a blanket. Boy's own star, Keith, Keith Duffy. Sparks feels of his health with his hard partying. Um, this is a bird who got pushed off a bridge. Have you seen the dramatic footage about that? She got something like two days in prison. It's like someone chopped her leg off. Woman who left a man who left the manhole cover off, using stitches as Sky Reporter ducks out of shot. <laughs> <laughs> Harry can't take his eyes off Meghan. Wow. Uh, Holly Willoughby burst into tears after this morning April Fool's joke. Oh, well, that seems interesting. Yeah, it's just a load of old shit, really. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Hey. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Can you tell who has right of way at this junction? Stop. Uh, the black car. Yeah. yeah. But who puts a junction where you've got the, uh, uh, hang the on, main hang on. I've got stop uh, signs? This is typical. I've got a woman at the side of me arguing that we're wrong. Actually, technically, oh, it's whoever's yeah. there first. Whoever's there first, yeah, obviously. But... <laughs> it's well, one of these two. You don't get junctions like that. I don't know. There's some up we here. We, we'd just shove a roundabout in, wouldn't we, and have done with it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Um, I think that covers pretty much all the news, to be fair. There's another bit, but it's basically the same as the San Francisco thing. Uh, Minnesota banning vaping indoors. I, uh, I, I quite want to look at the Gizmodo link. Ooh. I, was, I was looking at this earlier. Chris, is that yours? Oh, God. Uh, I, yes, I think so. Two seconds. This is uh this was quite the Depressing. quite defined. No, I thought it was amazing because 
Despite, oh, come on, you fucking stupid thing. There we go. Clearly paid for. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But that's what I found most interesting about it. So, oh, me? is it three? What the fuck is going on? Here? Oh, it's going to two. What the shit? All right, let me get myself back up. Uh, right, I've locked oh. it on you, Chris. There we go. Oh, I accept. So, this was a <laughs> Gizmodo UK top 10 list. Uh, of vape devices for people. Wait, I'm trying to get. I want. To, I want this to go. There we go. That's better. Why is? Have I still got Kate and Jerry McCann on my screen? No, so we've oh, not. We've not. There we go. Yeah, I've got two screens. Uh, this is a, one screen. So this is a top ten all best vaping pens for beginners in the UK. This was published on the 1st of April. So it might be an April Fool's because this list is atrocious. Uh, we're not entirely sure how vapes or e-cigarettes have become part of the Czech genre, but apparently they are. As evidence, we invited... We're, uh, by all the invites, we get to launch parties at fancy locations on big tobacco money, which is very important. And you'll work this out when you see the list. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But now, if you're new to vaping, where do you start? You don't want to spend rubbish on the equivalent of several packets of cigarettes, uh, do you? No, you don't. So just dipping your toe into the world of e-liquids, that stuff inside the vape. <laughs> Technical. Scroll down. Uh, wait, what? No, as in, scroll. sorry, scroll down, because we can't uh, see, because it's behind you. Oh, oh no. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so... The e-cigarette turns into lovely vapor that you inhale, hence the name vape, or as it's a vaporizer. Start here with the Gizmodo's UK guide to the best starting kits. The things we smoke for you, eh? So yeah. they say that as if they are saying that they've tried these in order to give you a good review, but then they also put in this very awesome line. Uh, as evidenced by all the invites, we get to vape launch launches at fancy locations on big tobacco money. So these are Gizmodo, a, a tech company that do tech reviews and stuff. And uh, this is what they went with. So at number one, the dual starter kit. Oh, who didn't know that was coming? Jules <laughs> <laughs> quickly become known as uh, best known names in the UK vaping and for good reason. Like a restaurant that's been given the Gordon Ramsay treatment, Jewel keeps getting its selection, its product selection trim and easy toe. What's that zero for? It's also like Gordon Ramsay in that it makes you swear when it breaks. Yeah. It's an affordable starter kit. It gives you everything you need to become a vapist. Do not call yourself this. <laughs> so, <laughs> for one, uh, Jewel's at the top. And uh, as you can tell by the fact that they've always invited to big tobacco events, that uh, obviously that'll be why it's there. But then you go to number two, maybe things get better. No, they don't. Uh, my blue vape pen starter kit. Very, stra very straightforward vape this, rather than refilling the liquid yourself. So they don't. So they don't mention that in the jewel, which so they've got one strike. They don't mention that you can't refill the pod yourself on the jewel. Um, little pod you click in like a cartridge of a fountain pen. Again, not especially lovely to look at. They didn't say that jewel was ugly, so I don't know why they're saying it again. But, Did he ooh. hold your horses, hold your horses, all is not uh, gone. Charge up quickly and you'll get a single pod of tobacco e-liquid with it. If you want to try more flavors, you need to buy them separately. Buy it here. Number three, Vibe. I don't know where they're getting all these devices from. But to be fair, the Vibe tobacco. Three. Well, available in five colours with a smart, not obviously a vape design. No, it looks like a pregnancy test. It does. It looks like some sort of feminine hygiene product, doesn't it? Yeah. Vibe Pen. E Vibe E Pen 3 is another good choice for beginning vapors. Yeah. Vapors. Uh, you get two caps, aka cartridges, one blend tobacco, one crisp mint, blah blah blah. What does the indigo taste like? What? What? Okay. A billion, there are about a billion more flavors in their online shop, but pick up something different to try at the same time. What does indigo taste like? No idea. So then it goes into Vaporesso Vico Solo. Oh my god, we have what? an actual vape pen. An actual yeah. vape pen. 
and I don't know where they got that from. If you want to go a bit fancier with your first vape, Solo is a good place to start with some psychedelic, what, a little bit of spatter, like someone's chucked a fucking orange at it. Ooh, Ooh psychedelic. Um, you prefer this product to show off their personalities, and it promises to be the only vaping kit you'll ever need. Well, if it's the only vaping kit you'll ever need, mate, why don't you stick it as number one? Uh, <laughs> because vape... Big Tobacco didn't pay for the listing. Oh, there we go. They got in a bit of trouble here. If Vaporesso logo reminds you of a bit of Nespresso, you're not alone. But rather than pods of e-liquid, this is a refillable leak-proof tank that holds two mil of juice. It's a little bit more complex than other starter kits on the list, but very easy to get going with. Fuck off. Leak-proof? Well, the Vico one, which is basically the same thing. Um, so... I'm presuming Vaporesso sent them some shit for free. The Logic Compact Starter Kit. Fuck off. You need to get an ad blocker, mate. I've got an ad blocker on my Mac. <laughs> um, <laughs> so so this reminds me of the uh, Logitech logo, but we'll go away from that. Uh, yeah, some bullshit. More bullshit. Six pre-filled pods. Very great. Jack. Now, I don't know if this comes from Jack Vapor. Yeah, it does. Uh, but they're not owned by Big Tobacco, are they? I don't mm -hmm. think so. I'm sure uh, that's um, I'm sure that's Jack Vapor. But even yeah, I'm though, pretty did sure. That, did that fall out in 1984? Wow, I think they got that in a bubble pack out of a petrol station. Mm. Uh, if if you're a light to moderate smoker, coming for these regular cigarettes, the cigar like design is the way to switch. Yes, yeah, seven years ago. Uh, <laughs> it's small, pre-filled, and doesn't generate massive attention-seeking clouds. So they're telling you to get this fucking Vapresso thing, and then saying, well, don't do them massive attention-seeking clouds with your psychedelic coloured vape. Uh, it's customizable, nice touch. What? You can put different colour caps on the end. Ooh. Oh, uh, custom. custom. Uh, and you get two batteries, a USB charger, a pack of menthol, blah blah blah. I think um, I think Bessie's in the chat, isn't he? You should make some uh, resin Rubber acrylic bungs. tips for him. Yeah, some some resin bungs. <laughs> uh, next, we've got the Icos Mesh Vape Kit, which is actually a vape device. Yeah, is that's actually... what they put. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Made by Cigarette Supremos, Philip Morris, which is quite good that they tell you that because I don't have all the others. Uh, it's particularly handy for beginners, as it has overheating prevention. So like every DNA board they've released over the last 10 years. Uh, stops that burny taste you get from some vapes. Easily swappable pre-filled capsules. The very own Vive line. Lay off the caps lock, guys. Oh, fuck off. Uh, however, it doesn't come with any. You'll need to buy those separately. There's a large selection on their website. Yeah, you probably get them for free if you just list yourself as a vape shop. <laughs> then you get Inner King ZB kit. So, beep. Beep, beep, beep. or is it blip? But they accidentally didn't capitalize one of the letters. Maybe looking somewhere between a Stimulo highlighter and a lighter, the new ZB kit is an all in one system with audible alerts, hence the beep. Oh, it's beep. To tell you the status of the vape without looking. Oh, because I always close my eyes when I take a hit of this. Can you imagine that? It's like, oh, he's vaping again, and all you hear is beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Oh, God. It reminds me of the, that's kind of like the design that they put into the, the packs. Oh, the heating system that warms up like dry yeah. herbs. Yeah. yeah. And when it gets to the right temperature, it beeps. <laughs> Fuck it now. Yeah, we've always needed that. I don't know why they didn't put that in all of their other products. Uh, a little bit more complex than some of the vapes. Large variety of accessories. Well, I can't see what accessories are going to be apart from a body or a drip tip, mouthpiece, and they're all the same. So I don't know where the accessories come from. Maybe you get a vape band with it. Uh, you've got the basic, you've basically got the vaping world at your fingertips. Why is this number nine in your list then? Uh, side mounted switch that you just squeeze to get going easy feel design blah 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 you get the vape pod an airflow control ring two coils a usb charger e-liquid squeeze bottle 
Wow. You get QR code for video tutorials. Well, if it's anything like the uh, the dodgy instructions you used to get in the Inakin and stuff, that'd be fun. Uh, and then 10, the BO Discovery Pact. Now, this <laughs> actually... This I'm sorry, act the BO Discovery Pact. Well, hmm. oh, Menthol. I discovered I have BO. <laughs> I, I, I like the presentation of this. Don't get me wrong. And I, 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 I do like this presentation. I like the fact you get a variety of pods and you get a decent amount. But if you're willing to spend a little bit more for the full starter experience, fucking full starter experience there. Eh? Uh, you get the BO1 soft vape, soft touch vape with no less than 17 flavors. Well, it looks like five, but multiple pods, mate. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm confused. I want. Mm, no, it's fine. They must have. Because that is a multi pack, therefore it would have been. It would have gone through as a TPD product, as a box. No, yeah, okay. See, this oh, yeah. here says credits the main image to Icos. So they oh. bought Bo. I think they must have done. <laughs> because that's a bit interesting. If so, unless the main image for the article was an Icos device. Yeah, it was. That That's what it is. But yeah, I mean, oh, it's just lists a load of different flavours. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll be long before the likes of Gizmodo and and other said review tech sites um, will start taking vaping seriously. They'll have a, a proper set of reviewers on board, and yeah, they'll they'll start doing it properly, taking it seriously. And I'd... well, it's quite interesting though is that if you scroll down this list, uh, when you get to the end, there's a woman pulling the same face I pulled when I read the list. Here she is. <laughs> Looking very depressed. Uh, to be honest, incredible funeral plans. She looks thrilled about it, mate. Someone's planning a funeral for her. She, she's happy. She loved it. But yeah, that's uh, that was the awesome tech list. Can anyone think of anything that should be on that tech list that isn't? Because, Can get uh, EVOD. I don't know. That tech list is pretty extensive, Cass. I don't know if you'll be able to top it, mate. Mm. Uh, what about the uh, Zomo laser? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Shall we move on to two seconds? What are we looking at? Sorry, no. Ignore me. We can't. We're watching you now. I know. Bit of Overwatch going on in the background there. Well, uh, we're being sh all right. Um, the meat of today's program. Um, what do we think? Because last week we looked at the world's ugliest pod. We looked at the uh, the Bantam box and the fifty fifty. Um, and today we've got some more products. Mark, huh? would you like to introduce our products? Yes, this week we are mostly going to be looking at uh, Squid Industries Double Barreled V3 and the Littlefoot MTA, MTL RTA by Wake Mod Company. Um, I, I'd love to join in on this review. Uh, however, my glass is broken. <laughs> right, so for anyone that doesn't know, Wake Mod Co. is started by Ilea, who used to be a part of Dot Mod before she got ousted by the suits, as she put it in her oh-so-eloquent post. Um, so, essentially, st she started this new company, and she did a lot of the same stuff that she was doing in Dot .mod um, to a similar, you know, similar quality. Um, but they've released this tiny little mouth-to-lung device. Um, it's... I think it comes in a bunch of different colours. It's... I think it's two... It's two mil, isn't it? Two mil. Yeah, two mil. Um, single coil, so you've got two posts. Really easy. You just sort of screw down screws and it traps it. Um, and it's got this sort of nice... I would take it apart, but it's going to be a pain in the dick oh. to do that. 
I'll do mine, but I'll try not to cut my fingers open whilst I'm doing it. Fair enough. Um, it's got a sort of sunken deck, so your coil sits within that. It is a very, very short deck, though, so you cannot put your coils too high, otherwise they will arc on the top, as I've discovered once. Um, it... Hang on, then. Let me... Um... Ow, 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 ow. Um... <sighs> Don't know if we're going to be able to see this. Uh, there we go. That's the deck. At least I thought we'd be able to see it. Focus. There we go. Nice, simple, plain, two-post deck. Nice juice well around the edge. Yep. Nice, really, plain, and simple. Really easy to build, really easy to wick. Um, I I found a couple of issues. Is It loves to piss all its juice out when you open the coil, uh, when you open the lid. And you what? Think, yeah. I've had loads of leaking issues, specifically when it's when I've been filling. No, I've not. Not one. No? No, the, no. The, first, the first build I put in it, no problems at all. The seconds and third builds I put in it, I've just had nothing but problems with it. The airflow is a little interesting for a mouth to lung. <clears throat> so what they've got, I don't know, you won't be able to see it, I don't think. Nah, not... A, oh, yeah, you know, you can kind of see it. They've got these three holes on the side, right? Uh, one's small, one's big, and one's bigger. Now, normally, if you do that, you have one hole, then another hole, and then the third hole. What they've done is they've decided to go, you get the smallest hole, and then we're going to triple your air size by adding the second biggest hole, and then we're going to triple it again by adding the third biggest hole. So you go from what is a very tight mouth to lung to what is essentially a, di uh, a, a limited or restricted direct lung. Um, but actually, the flavor's pretty awesome off of it. I'm still trying to experiment with the best, but what, what is your build in yours, Mark? Uh, I've got a... Point seven Clapton, I believe it is twenty six fuse forty two. Okay. See, I'm using uh, not fused. It's not fused. I don't think it's fused. Okay. I don't recall. Um, I'm using um, 28 Nichrome, um, and I don't know whether it's just Nichrome, but every time it's just catching the back of my throat, which is N80 weird. or N80. Um, but I did a Canthal build and that was fine. Uh, but yeah, flavor off it's really good and I like the tiny size of it. Uh, you know what? Do, do you know you say about the scratchy? Mm. I think that's the airflow because I did get that originally. What do you have it on? I've got it on the second hole at the moment. Not uh, you know me, I like it tight as a tiger. So, tight as a tiger. Tight as a tiger. I, I think it's, it's the way the airflow works that catches your throat. It must be. Because it's just every now and then it'll just catch the back of my throat and I cough my guts up. So, but then that could be down to the juice. It could be down to the fact it's uh, 20 milligram. It could be many things. So I'm going to try some normal sort of six or 12 milligram juice in it, see how it compares. Um, I will be, for my own shameless self plug, I will be doing detailed and up close full reviews of this on my channel. Um, so go like, comment, subscribe, and uh, Stick a fiver in the super chat to fund it. So, <laughs> um, and yeah, I think as far as like mouth to lung tanks go, this one's one of the better ones. Hello, Chandler. Hi. Any particular reason we're on the antiquated uh, version this week? Me don't, will shit itself. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. All right. Okay. Like that, is it? Yeah. Was it quarter to nine when you got started? Pretty much. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, dear. Um, Chandler. Uh, sorry, not Chandler. Cass. Mm -hmm. um, Joe, you're saying you need to get a K fund. Honestly, the airflow on it is just. Which K fund? The um, Matalum, 22 mil. Okay. Prime. The Prime. K so prime. When, when, no, when not the Prime. Like, you don't mean the Prime, you do you? Prime's different. You yeah, want, I don't mean the mean, prime. Yeah, you mean the you mean the new the new K Fun K Fun Mini Light. Light, mm, that's mm, the one. Mm, mm. Honestly, when they come back into stock, I, I I promise you, I promise every single one of you, you will absolutely love it. If you're a mouth alone, 
it's your old traditional it's your old traditional fill as well isn't it you want you, you unscrew I've, I've literally fill just it filled in mine. that way yeah it is an upside yeah. down fill which is a bit of a bollock ache but why i don't like it um it's, that, it's all right. The, the one you, thing, the one you, thing keep... you don't get, the one thing you don't get, for for example, on this one, the saver does it. You fill it up, you screw it in, it squirts juice out the top. And you can also get a four and a half minute extension oh. tank. Bonus. <gasps> that that when you look on the website it says not for sale in the UK. And then they post it in the UK anyway. No, they don't. Yeah. Obviously not. No, they wouldn't do such a thing. Sure. Do, do they have a napkin ring section? Probably. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, we've I got I got and I'm vaping on uh, Fool's Gold from justadnick.co.uk. Sorry, we've not done our just adnick um promo. No. <laughs> um, so I think that covers the mouth, you know, the little foot. Would you would you recommend would you would recommend the little foot? Yes, absolutely. Um, for the price, they are. I don't. I don't. I don't know if because I've got to pay you back for mine, and I don't know what it costs. Uh, 86, 86 quid. <laughs> Shit. He's giving you. He's, uh, mate, I've he's, got he's giving you. Got a, giving you a discount. That, that's that's with a discount. They're actually hundred and sixty. <laughs> I think. I think. I think they're twenty five, thirty quid. Okay, it's not bad. Retail, obviously. I mean, um, but uh, I'm, I'm honestly, though, not sure if they're available yet. Um, what they're called? Little. They're on e Sig One, aren't they? Are they? I think so. Yes, they are. Ah, the page you requested cannot be found. <gasps> uh, from the research I did, um, I don't believe that they're TPD compliant. Why? Because they've not gone through the process. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Vapor Depot's got them in stock. Twenty six ninety nine. Yeah, so you know, reasonably priced for a decent mouth to lung. That's like berserker territory right there. Um, but it I... walks all over the. Ber no, it doesn't. It's as good as the berserker. I think the berserker's slightly smoother, um, but I yeah. think that's because it's got a longer chimney. However, I like the flavour off of it. Mm. Um, but yeah, the Berserker wins on smoothness, and I think the, the little foot wins on uh flavor. The only problem is the little foot, it gets warm very quickly, obviously, because of the small chamber. Um, yeah, and I, I've got second degree birds a couple of times. The other thing is, I've noticed like the Berserker suffers from it too. If you put a build in that's even like five percent too hot, you know about it. In this, it's even more pronounced. Like I did a 0.5 build, and I was like, "Nope, two puffs in." Like change that out. Yeah. Um, Revs just ask which is easier to build in. Now I'm going to say um, the little foot, but I think Cass is going to say otherwise. Um, I just haven't found the right build for the little foot, but I think there's much of a muchness. They've got very similar decks. You just screw it down under a post. Um, and the the thing that makes the little foot harder to build is the fact that you've got zero margin for legs sticking out either side of the post. Mm -hmm. um, it will foul on the the chamber that goes over the top. So you've got to do your old, do you remember the old school twisty method where you twist the wire off? Yeah. You've got to do that because you ain't getting clippers in there. But it's um it's nice to build. You just got to have your make sure your coils are legs at the top, not mm -hmm. legs at the bottom, because it will touch the top and you will get a hard shot or a arc. You, you see, my legs are at the bottom. Really? Mm. Mm. Legs are Kimbire. Legs at the bottom. Um. But no, yeah, for the price of it, I'm I'm impressed. Mm. Who else just asked another question? Uh... Um, well, Jay's vape reviews. If um, if you're plugging them, send some over, and I'll uh, I'll uh, prove your theory on the show. <laughs> or alternatively, stick ten pounds in the super chat, and I'll buy them. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking for a decent build in this because at the moment I'm just sticking single round wire builds in and none of them have blown my mind. Um, I'll, have, I'll have to get Keith to make me some. Cool. 
Mm. Um, right, let's move on to the mod. So the mod we're looking at is going to be the Squid Industries Double Barrel V3. Now, I never owned a V2.1 or V2, whatever they called it, so I can't compare. But I can give you a rundown on the mod itself. Absolutely, oh, that's upside down. Absolutely unreal. It looks like the V2. When I first saw that, I thought it was the V2.1. I, I, you know, when it said V3, I'm like, was was, was that the one that I was going, I was wanting? Well, there's a few no noticeable differences as far as I'm aware. Firstly, this is wider by a mil, I think. It's 25 it's mil as opposed to 24. Yes. Is it still 18650s? Yes. Now, you see the battery flappy door? The battery flappy door? The yeah. flappy door? Is yeah. that a technical term? It is the flappy door. That flips out from the end, and I believe the two flips out from the side. Which is... Uh, Don't okay. quote me on that. As far as I'm aware, from images I've seen of the two... You're probably right. You're probably right. I, can't, I couldn't tell you. Right, so let's go into the many bonuses of this device, and then I'll do some of the uh, the cons, um, of which there are very few. So the first thing is, it feels amazing in the hand. You have to like heavier mods, though. This thing is weighty without batteries. Um, but because it's nice and long and narrow, it fits in your hand really nicely, like many things in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one thing I was worried about with this is, you see, you got the button there. And this button is your wattage control. Now, it's not on at the moment, but this button is your wattage control. And I was worried that it was going to be something that I accidentally spun or changed the wattage on and suddenly I'm three times higher than I was. No, it's actually, you know, you have to get two fingers on there to twist it to get that to click. It's really, really solid. And the button, I'll put it next to the mic. You can probably hear how clicky this is. <laughs> oh, Rev. We love you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a genius. Well, can we rename this show the Rev James Morley Show? Yeah, I, I, I think he might have accidentally clicked it. Um, sorry, we don't do refunds. No. So. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, there, there we go. Everyone's saying the V2 slid completely off. There we go. That's what... <laughs> um, It is series, as far as I can work out, because you've got this plate in the bottom that just literally connects the, the bottom of the two batteries. It's not parallel mod, but there's one thing that's not on here that you'll notice. That's what? There's something that's not on this mod that's on almost every other mod in existence. Vent holes. Uh, no, it's got a giant vent hole down the middle that you can look through. It. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. Uh, no, there's no USB port. And I love it. Ah, no USB. None at all. It doesn't need it. The chip inside it, I mean, I'll turn it on. Five clicks on. Three clicks flips the screen. And then four clicks locks it. And that's it. There's no temp modes. There's no replay modes. There's no bollocks. It is wattage. Zero or one to 150. Um, and the other bonus is a lot of people used to complain that the V2 used to get, you get like the ingress of juice into the chip and that would kill it. They've now sealed that up. It's nice and solidly sealed. But you get another little addition with it, which is what I've used. You get a protector ring to protect the top of your mod. Nice. Bottom. Oh, top of the mod. Yeah, bottom yeah, of your yes. idea. And it's in black, so it, it literally just disappears. Depends on your priorities, Chris. Are you protecting your mod or are you protecting your attic? In this oh. case, I'm protecting the mod because the anodizing on this is absolutely fantastic. There's not a mark on it apart from just in here, this little tab on the end here. Where it sits yeah. underneath, that's the only place there's a mark because you've really got to push it and click it in to hold it in there, but it's not going to accidentally knock out. It looks 3D printed. Oh, the, this thing is definitely made of forged metal in the uh, the Nordic forges of old Norway. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the same place that uh, Thor's new hammer axe was made? I thought they were American. Yeah, they are American, but... Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, the Nordic fjords of South Dakota. Yeah, apparently this is made by, uh, Squid Industries was set up by an old army guy. Is it? Um, yeah, expat. 
Um, um, has it got like a rubberized finish to it? What's the what's the coating like? It's like a matte, smooth finish. It's not rubberized, even though it looks like it. But it's sort of this matte. I don't know how to describe it. It's not metallic. Um, it's not plasticky. It's not that shiny, as you can see. Mm. Um, but it, it is a matte sort of. I think it's cerakote. Um, but it's it feels really thick. It doesn't feel like it's painted. You know, it's not going to scratch off. It's super smooth. There's no bumps or texture to it at all. Um, but it's not slippery in the hand. Mm. It's just it's just one of the most perfect mods I've owned. Um, the only thing being is that the battery doors can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. But, but in a good way. But in a good way because your battery you ain't going to drop it and your batteries fall out. Mm. I mean, the worst thing that will happen okay. is that you might dent the batteries before you dent the mod if you were to drop it. More, more to the point, if you do lose it, you're not going to lose your battery cover because that does have a tendency to hide underneath the uh, chest of drawers or whatever. Well, exactly. I mean, it's an 18650. It's not some sing oh, singing or dancing bollocks. It just does the thing it says it does well. And there need to be more products out there like that. I'm never going to use temp mode, so I don't need it. I'm never going to have replay or a light or a clock or a laser. Um, and... I like clocks. I like clocks on a mod. I'm sorry, yeah. but I do. L look at that. Isn't that a banging little setup? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, my my daily setup is uh, that I, I would use this all the time if I if I could get it to turn on and off. Um, and, you know, just get, just batteries and power. Get a squid, Ian. You will not regret oh, it. I've, I've been Ian hanging my eyes after those. Yes. Sorry, Chandler. Thank you. Chandler, you get one <laughs> because you won't regret it. This is right up your street. I mean, I've got this at 14 watts. And this is the other thing with battery life, right? I put a fairly new set of 18650s in it. Um, Saturday morning, I charged them about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now, I'm only running it at anywhere between 12 and 20 watts. But even so, that battery life is ridiculous. I do wish it displayed two batteries but then it's a series mod, so it's not going to be able to detect two batteries because it's not parallel. So it just sees those two batteries as one cell because of the way it's wired, essentially. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I have no regrets. And the thing is, I put my giant Cleto on there today to see how that looked. Looks awesome. I put a, a Goon on there. Awesome. I put the Alpha RDA on there. Looks awesome. Um, so it takes the bigger stuff, and it looks good. You just end up with a really, really tall mod. Um, Chandler, you might not be able to fit it in your house with your drip tips. Um, <laughs> it sounds like my dream mod. But it's good. Oh, and this is the other I thing. Don't go for, I don't go for the big drip tips. What are you talking about? Nah. Well, this is the other thing, right? There's no ramp up bollocks. Like, you get like um, companies like Drag are like, oh, yeah, we've got the fastest possible firing speed. It's like, yeah, mate, with this one, you press the button and it works. <laughs> um, yeah, just no fault at all. I know Mark's used one a bit. I, 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 I tried it, and I was impressed. I would have had one, but I think it, it ended up sat on my shelf. Looking... I don't, I don't, I don't use... I don't it would have done. I don't think it would have done. Not after, I mean, think of it like your Minikin, right? You use that all the time. Just use it as a replacement for your Minikin. Mm. I'm happy with my little... With my little thing. Mm. But, um, yeah. And the other thing is, I don't lose this in my jacket because it weighs so fucking much. Yeah, but you also need a belt to keep your trousers up. No, I've got my stomach for that. Um, you wear your jeans over your stomach? No. Yeah, you do. No, I just buy jeans one size too small. Um, and, and then we're good to go, you know. Oh. <laughs> I bet Chandler wears his, his jeans near his nipples. Uh, yeah, I've I've got braces, you know, braces on as well, um, secured actually by uh, clipped onto my armpit hairs. Chandler, <laughs> Cli go, clipped go, onto your nipples. No, you... armpit, armpit hairs. You get you get a little bit more give. Chandler, you seem like the kind of dude that goes to like cyberpunk shows, and um, like 
retro, got... retro Steam exhibition. And Steam you go in a... yeah, I bet Steam... you've got. I bet he's got like some futuristic headset that doesn't do anything, but it's got an eyepiece on it. Yeah, or, or a top hat with cogs and goggles. <laughs> Where's my Where's my goggles? I've got goggles. They're They're beside the bed. Do you have a next to his handcuffs? Hey, do, do you I have, have a purple waistcoat? Absolutely, I bet he does. No, not a purple one. I've got a I've got a I've got a red Victor a red Victorian one with a paisley paisley print and and velour. You look like fucking liver Liberace. Yeah, I look like a twat. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I reckon Chandler's house looks like an antique shop. Ye no. old magic shoppy. And he's got like <laughs> loads of. This is Chandler. Oh, that, look at this. I, I use this. <gasps> Yay! You got it. Chandler sent me this. Awesome. With, with uh, his RSVP to my wedding in it. And uh, I, yeah, I use it. I, I, this it's is. Designed, designed for a set of poker cards. So it fits a set of a deck of poker sized cards yeah. in it beautifully. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Like these very fancy ones I got here. Very nice. My little uh, unicorn ones. <laughs> um, yeah. Just, just, they fit in lovely. Just to finish off this double barrel thing quickly. Um, Sorry. Are we, no, are, we, are we going off on a tangent? A little bit. No, it's cool. It's cool. So price-wise, it ain't cheap. That's the downside. Um, for a dual 18650... Uh, 150 watt mod it's not the cheapest considering it's not dna and it's not got all the fancy bollocks in but purely on the build quality alone i think that price is worth it what how much we, we are 89. We, uh let me just we so, want a mod not a bottle of champagne there you go 89.99 what's well, considering the considering the, the version one and the and the 2.1 were 99.99 then it's a tenner cheaper than the previous versions. Wait a sec, can so, we just go back to the top there and look at the bold claim from Grey Haze that they are the UK's leading vape shop since online vape shops since 2013. Amazing. Grey Haze no, used, Haze used they to used be, to be massive, big. massive. Yeah, but they weren't they're not they've never been the leaders in the whole country. Oh, I don't know. At one point I think they were. Yeah. No. Um, Color wise, we're looking at this. Ooh, we've got what's that black? We've got this sort of gold, which isn't my champagne. Yeah, that's the champagne flavor. Maybe this is another type of black. <laughs> what do we think of the lilac purple? Is that lilac purple? It looks blue. It looks blue to me, like a light blue. Here. blue. Well, maybe that's the one I've got. I've got two screens, and they're both at different contrasts. So on one screen, it looks purple, on one screen, it looks blue. Show it, hold, show us your one quick. Uh, two seconds. Uh, so this is this is oh this is my one. Yeah, I think that's your one. Yeah, so that must be my one. Uh, let me just share it up again. Um, and then we've got oh there, there, there we go V two V three. That's the difference. That's what I was on about. Ah, flaps down. Well, no, apparently it slides off completely. So that's why I thought it flapped down because it's right. like laid next to it. And then you got this this mad Arctic camo, which is kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I think if you want a high end, simple, and I say high end loosely, um, if you if you want a high end uh, dual battery eighteen six fifty no bollocks mod, go for it because I've been very impressed. I mean, it looks all right. It's not my sort of thing. But, I mean, how how big is that tank? This tank's twenty two. I think 22 or 24. I think it looks so like 24, but there's not a lot of gap around the edge. I don't know. Yeah. See, I mean, if you were putting a 25 mil on there, would it overhang? No, because it is 25 mil. It doesn't look it. Well, see, this is why apparently it's a 22 mil tank, but I think it's 24 mil. What? In, I don't know. Because I've got a 25 mil goon um, that sits flush. So if chat would like to correct me in some way, feel free. Yeah. Chandler, you can't do Instagram on Hangouts, can you? Why not? You can. Oh, sick. Let's do that. <laughs> um, 
so yeah anyway yeah so those are two awesome products i picked up and two that i thought we should talk about and hopefully we'll be seeing more products on the show because you guys seem to like us talking about actual things yeah, yeah. why not why not stuff that we find interesting i guess so especially really really ugly pod devices oh talking of pod devices right there you go smock's latest are they even called it the miko uh god knows what have they called yeah they have called it the miko wow yeah um after after seeing smock had done the the one that looks incredibly like the um the q the the, 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 the orion yeah uh, they've now got a pod system that looks incredibly like the Mi Pod, except it's called the Miko. So see, obviously, it's completely I different. I tried those before they came out. The Miko, and yeah, um, and it was just too airy, and I didn't like the size of the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece was just huge. It's weird, isn't it? It does look odd. And and you you look like you're you you look like you're you're trying to eat some kind of bizarrely coloured cracker. Yeah. Um, I, I I never got the me pods in the first place. I, um, I both Chris and I we didn't really like the we got the pre production me pods didn't we? Yeah. And we weren't a massive fan. I I wasn't. I in fact I I thoroughly dis detested it. Um. Have Smock done away with their black boxes that's on every product they've ever released ever? It was black and red, wasn't it? They were always always black, black, black and, and red. red engraving. Yeah, uh, they seem to have gone. Oh, look! Let's jump on the. Let's try and make it look stab wood dish resin kind of fancy expensive shit. But yeah, there you go. Something a little bit more high end. Uh, unsurprisingly, it's Mr. Todd, um, who's posting on Instagram. Yay! Um, what's that? That's the hussar on top of something ridiculously expensive from Hellfire. Is that DNA two fifty C? I believe it is. Yes. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is. Just short of four figures to buy. Is it seven or eight hundred quid? Fuck that. Uh, for the mod. Uh, I don't know how much the Hussar is, though I'm sure that's probably um, fairly uh, fairly heavy on your pocket as well if you were to go with that. But what I liked is um, Todd did a video where he completely took it apart. I mean, literally demolished the mod, took it to pieces, uh, took the battery tube out, took the cradle out, separated it all, and the back comes off, slides off, clicks together. Um, I, I don't know why, for a, you know, you know seven, eight hundred quid mod, why anyone would think, oh, I know, let's take it apart and see if I can actually put it back together again. But, but he did. I really like that drip tip. You like that? It's too short. No, it's not. Oh. Look, look. They, that, that, it, oh, no, you can't see. Can you hang up? Yeah, you, yeah. don't point. I, I can't see you. Do I need uh, to present or something? Stop. I've unpresented you. Okay, that, cool. that is the perfect. At least it would be a crackle bollocks. Didn't... <coughs> That's the perfect size drip tip. Perfect. No, no why would that be the perfect yes. size? Why? No, no, no. Why? Do you believe... It's absolutely fine if you need to keep your lips warm on your tank. Shut up, you tart. Yeah. Did you know um, <laughs> that the further away that your mouth is from the coil, the less flavour you get? Mm-hmm. Supposedly. No, 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 that's science. Supposedly. Is that like supposedly? Yeah. But you get more <laughs> flavour. It's like suppository. <laughs> yeah. You get more flavour. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. You like you like you just don't appreciate the uh, the the more sophisticated longer drip tips. If you appreciate sophisticated long drip tips, stick ten pound in the super chat. Um, 
I mean, let's Give be honest, the revs Give set in. the bar pretty high. So, Give in. Give in. yeah, yeah. And if if you do, that might actually go towards me getting another ridiculously long drip tip. Yay. Because this is quite short at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm replacing it with my my longer one. So uh, short, in fact, he doesn't like getting it out in public. Wow. Indeed. Right. Next mod. I, I thought this. I actually saw this and thought it was the uh, double barrel to start with. Um, but this is this is now uh, what was it? Trying to remember it. Something to do with chess. 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 Checkmate. There you go. It's the checkmate mod by somebody. It looks like they designed half of it and then went shit, guys. We need somewhere for the battery to go. I just bolt it on anywhere. Yeah. I've, I've got a mate that's got one of those, um, yeah. and it came um, came damaged. Hmm? It's the no name, isn't it? That's it, no name. There you go. Yeah. The checkmate, um, no name. I've got a mate who bought one brand new, cost him an absolute fortune. He bought it from one of the shows. It must have been last fair, uh, last uh, vape jam. Yeah. And it came battered. He had to send it back to be really sorted. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. But um, you know, ergonomically in the hand, it's it's very nice. It's not as big as it looks there. It kind of looks a bit like. Do you remember that double-barreled Gaia stack thing? That mech. No. Double oh, the Gaia. Yeah. Do you remember the Gaia Rabbit stack life. one? Yeah, that's Rabbit it. Life. The super... um, yeah, it looks a bit like that. If you look at that, look at the size of it. It's, it's tiny. Not... On four fingers. It's not. That yeah. Is tiny. It is. It is a oh, small. Effectively, I suppose if uh, if you get a because that 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 looks that really looks like it just it's what yeah. it's going to be the same size as an eighteen six fifty very very little difference. No, it is tidy, and obviously in that photo you've put up. No, it does look small in there. I don't know why I put that picture up. Yeah, to you, but um. Mm. So anyway, there you go. I saw that one. And thought, ah, well, like I say, I thought it was the because uh, look, it's got the it's got the. I'm using my mouse again, so you can't see it. Um, it it's even got the dial that looks very much like the uh, double barrel, but it's mm. kind of hiding in the middle. So anyway, there you go. That was that one. I can't remember the order that I've done this. Oh yeah, I found my unicorn mod. It's pretty. There you go. That was it. Why is it? It's got a unicorn on it. That was uh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, I was I was going to get critical, but well, yeah, I couldn't. I honestly, I couldn't tell you what it is. It just looks pretty, and it's it's got a unicorn engraved on it. So I just went oh, unicorn mod. Oh. See, it looks like a goon on top that's been engraved, and the <laughs> five that five ten offends me at the top. It needs to be hybrid. <clears throat> that's not a good. That's not a goon. Look at the airflow. I know, I know, but it looks like a goon. Uh, the it Reverend does. James Morley is just up the bar. On <laughs> what? I hope, I hope he's not taking this out of the collections. <laughs> <laughs> I feel right guilty. <laughs> <laughs> that's the church roof fund gone. <laughs> right. So, how much do? How much what percentage do YouTube take? A good chunk. So we get well, we've got about four quid each. Each? There's four of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is his big budget. budget. Right, so 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 what? So uh, according uh, next week I'm going to have to use a long drip tip wearing a vaping jacket, a vaping jacket, which is a dressing gown turned inside out, like in bottom. Oh, do you know what bottom is my favourite show of all time? I love bottom. Is that why you've never mentioned it up until this point? <laughs> have I never mentioned it? No, not once. Have I not? Eddie, I, I, I had to... Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> I've got your favourite uh, uh, fish finger. <laughs> what is it? Sunday fish finger. Right. <laughs> um, no. So, fun fact about bottom. I, I had a, my best friend growing up lived with his nan, and he, his uncle lived there as well, and he was a bit older, but they were very. Less, they were a lot less strict 
Um, so at home, I wasn't allowed to watch it. So I used to stay over his like four nights a week. And we used to put that on from when we were chilling out to go to bed to when we fell asleep at 3, 4 in the morning. So I know almost every episode of Bottom, word for word. If it's playing, I can, I'll can i finish their sentences. Yeah. Fun fact, <clears throat> fun fact about Bottom. Uh, I went to see Bottom live in Sheffield. It and they record, they actually record the bloopers. You bastards! Yeah. Yes, Sorry. They do. I thought... <laughs> they actually... That was exactly what they did. I, I, it what was... tour did you go see? <laughs> Weapons grade Y fronts? Oh, I can't remember which one it was now. It was it was absolutely hilarious. And yeah, they fucked it up all the way through. Um, and uh, I they remember... They just get, Yeah, but I, no, they don't. They fucking don't. We bought the... Um, we bought the DVD and they'd recorded the DVD in Derby or somewhere bizarre. It wasn't where we'd seen it. All the cock ups, all the bloopers that happened on the uh, on the stage were pre-recorded. Every every mistake was in the uh, the live version that they did somewhere else. Scripted oh. fuck ups. So, a bit like us tonight. We we yeah. we did that. It was a, a scripted fuck up at the beginning of the show. It builds yeah. um, it builds a uh, momentum and tension and hype. Yeah, so all the all the all the cock ups were scripted. I can't believe the rev knows bottom. He's out in the States, isn't he? <laughs> no, no, he's not. How is he not? Near Leeds? Somewhere near Leeds. Oh, we'll have to go and uh, go to go to his church one day. Mm. We'll do we'll do we'll do vape talk live from from the Sunday mass. Yeah, we can give him his uh, his roof fund back. <laughs> yeah, that that is. Have you have you ever watched Peppa Pig? Uh, what? Pig. Random. <laughs> Gone from bottom to Peppa Pig. What? No, well, it, fun uh, fact. Fun oh. fact. Eighty five percent of all events that happen at the school are in aid of repairing the school roof. All oh, right, the, the, the <laughs> dodgy dodgy bull builder. The okay. roof is repaired at every other episode. Mm. Rev, hang on, Rev James Moore, you're in Sheffield now. I laugh if Rev is actually your wife, Chandler, your missus, sitting in another room. Uh, well, well, yeah, no. Just wanting to be included. No, <clears throat> no, yeah, but so Bottom is by far my favourite show of all time. Um, and yeah, I've I've seen all of the lives. I've seen Guest House Paradiso about a thousand times each. There you go. It's weird because it's something you don't really watch as an adult. Like it's not on telly anymore. I've got it on DVD, but I don't even have a DVD player. Mm. So yeah, I miss it. I might watch some tonight. Actually, oh, bless. This is it. what's next on your list, Chandlerino? Well, I saw a really nice scene as we were talking about the uh, um, hey. squid double barreled. I saw that and went, "Ooh, squid double barreled!" I bet Kaz would like to see that. Oh, that is Kaz. That is me. Yeah. So there we go. A post from uh, from Kaz on uh, on the Insta that I, I spotted and thought, "Oh, I'll have that," and didn't actually realise it was Kaz until after I decided I was going to nick it. I mean, that photo is definitely not edited. That's raw. That, that kind of that kind of looks like the Kanga Subox from that angle. It does a bit, doesn't it? Does <laughs> it? Yeah, but it's kind of cool. But a uh, kind of cool picture. I was quite impressed with the picture. What uh, phone is it? Phone that you've used, or a? Yeah, that's a phone. Uh, the... what, what phone is it? The iPhone XS Max. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, did you not see the photo of my dinner earlier? That was, was... pretty. It's pretty swish. That you... that the quality of that photo. I was well impressed. I will I will share it again for. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Facebook compresses the shit out of photos. So, yeah, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you used uh, used one of my photos in your Instagram. I feel privileged. It does actually look very nice. So yeah, there goes. Not nice. the food. That looks horrible. The picture. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the, the, I've just signed up to one of these these food parcel thing. No, food parcel. That's the wrong word to use. Food parcels. Yeah, you do. Um, you, know, you go to the. It's, it's, he's like that geezer in Little Britain that signed up to Meals on Wheels for his dead sister. It's it's a food. <laughs> show so, the show the boxes you buy. It costs you thirty five quid a week, and they send all the food to your house. Yes. Um, is that? Uh, Which one am I? This is Mark's food. That looks awful on that photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I can't remember who's who. Woman, who are we getting food from? Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Isn't that the one where they just send you herbs? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a different one, and it's a different kind of herbs. Oh. Uh, Oh, that might, that might be weedcrate.co.uk. Um, That's the one. Yeah. It's heavyblaze.com. <laughs> Dankbud.com. Um, Laser websites all probably exist. You know that. Probably. Yeah. Although I came up with a mate of mine likes fishing, and I was like, oh, dude, you set up a business where it's like loot crate, but for fishing stuff. And he was like, oh, yeah, I always buy fishing stuff. So. Um, we looked and it turns out it's already a thing and it's called uh, Tackle Box. I was quite sad. Tackle Box and you get you get your weekly boilies in a bag. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh, you know what? I went to, uh, talking of, va of vape stuff, I went to, uh, to a friend of mine's house last night and he's a magician full time. So he does a lot. I, I just deal with cards. Cards are my thing. But he does all sorts of props and mentalism and shit. And he was showing me a few of the new stuff, a few new bits he's got. And uh, he pulls this big box out of his bag. And it was like a gloss, you know, like piano key black. And had this fucking beautiful gold inscription in it. He opens it up and there's these two decks of cards. And they're in these like proper thick, like black plastic cases. And they're gold gilded edges with really fancy shit on it. And he says, it's a gift for you. I was like, oh, thanks mate do you know what i mean he goes if you don't want it just sell it i'm sure you can get some money for it on ebay and i says well i oh, know I'd, I'd like it thanks you know what i mean i got it home looks the boxes were beautiful it's got all like this oh, really fancy insides and i looked it up online and it's a fucking cigarette company that made it yeah sounds about right it looks like something it looks like something that was made for some sort of french nobility and it's a fucking cigarette. It's like from 1982 or something. I'll send a picture to the chat later. But yeah, I was so surprised. Fucking cigarette. Like a Russian cigarette company. Yeah. Chandler. Sounds... Tits. All right. No. Next one. Yes. Right, I saw this one. This Ass one. And titties. This, one this one's showing my name at my age again because uh, I took one look at this and went. Carbonello. Oh, Carbonello. <laughs> Crunchy on the outside, chewy in the middle. So, yeah, you can't. Armadillo. So, uh, Armadillo mod. Uh, this is can, vaping vet. Share can I, this. Can I, can I ask if anybody else other than Chandler and I got that? I did not. Yeah. No, you two didn't. Oh, come on. Who, right. Who, who is it? Come on. Are you ready, Mark? You are Armadillo. Like, you are like who is thrice that? our what? age. Okay, if, if, anyone, if anyone in chat knows who the comedian is that did the, or the product, or the product. Or the product. There you go. Come on, let's see. Oh, there we go. Vaping, uh, vaping Vinny uh, has got it straight off. Dime bar. Who was the comedian? Who was the comedian? This is the thing. You, Dime we, we, bar. me and Cass might weigh twice as much as you two, but you are <laughs> twice as old as we are. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you know, no one knows. Yeah, Harry Enfield. Come on, I've given it in, I've given it out now. Dime bar, fast show. There we go. Come on, Rev got that. Okay, see, I did used to watch the fast show, but I don't remember that at all. It was Harry a TV Enfield. advert for Dime bar. For the oh, okay. Um. And and basically, dime bar, chewy, chewy on the outside, crunchy in the middle, and the armadillo was armadillos, crunchy on the outside, chewy in the middle. <coughs> there you go. And uh, I quite like the fact that the inside, the deck, the build deck, looks like an armadillo. It's Over, horrible, overly complicated. It's, Do one, don't like I mean, it. It looks like it's got six different placements for your coils. Great. How about Options. you just put it in a just put it in the middle like everyone else. Yeah, but it but it looks like an armadillo. Bin it next. It? Oh, all yeah. right, okay. Next. Okay, I can't remember what I've got next. Oh, there we go. Look, Zofie vapes. I love Zofie vapes. Aww. I love Zofie vapes. She's my favourite. Is it just me, or does she look like the love child of Lord and Fern Cotton? Who? I I I take that. Old people don't even know who Lord or, or Fern Cotton are. I know who Fern Cotton is. Who's Lord? The oh, the singer. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, you don't mean like, you don't mean like Lordy from uh, who did the Eurovision thing? Because yeah, that, that's just... you will never be royals. No, you're on about the people that dress up as dragons. That's the yeah. ones. Yeah, that, no, not that. No. Oh, okay. Right. So basically, she's on the front cover of uh, a vape magazine in the states. Uh, so uh, it's like, oh, that's so sweet. So all credit to her for that one. I like that one. <laughs> and I thought I'd share this one from. Uh, our own Craig Nichols has been making build build decks, basically. And they're I for mean, sale now. They're for sale now. Are they for sale now? Yeah. Oh, bloody good job and all. Look at the look at that. I mean, is that just not stunning or what? Um, a lot of people yeah. have said that would make an awesome mod. <coughs> but, um, I, I, there was something that. It was a little thin or something, so he, t yeah. he he just randomly turned it into a build deck, and look at what he's come up with. It's awesome. Uh, what what's his Facebook group? M M mods M, M mods, mods custom mental, mods. Yeah. M mods mental mods. Um, um, I, I will, a, I, will pop, I will pop a link into chat. There we go. Um, and I know he's got them up for sale. <laughs> Looks like building on a bet on a pear's bar of soap. Now I think that's I think that's a good thing. <clears throat> right, I, I can't remember the order I've put these last few pictures in. There we go. Oh yes, there we go. I saw this and realised that the uh, um, that promoting a new line of juice is uh, the Proclaimers. Wow! <laughs> I'm like wow, another blast from the past. Brilliant. Chris, Brilliant. you know the proclaimers are right. They're Scottish, so you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being funny, but you cannot go to a wedding up here without hearing that song six times. So uh, yes, I'm very familiar with who the proclaimers are. Yeah. Um, so how many miles would you go then? How many miles? A thousand. Uh, yeah, no, that's not right. We know, it's we right. Can't... You'd try. Oh, you'd that. go 500 miles, then 500 more. 500 times two is a thousand, Chandler. Yeah, but then he'd do it all over again. So, uh, so it's yeah, but you, well, I presume one trip would be enough. <laughs> <laughs> when oh, I wake dear. up, yeah, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. The Have man. you heard that fucking? There's some guy that did a. Uh, there was two people that have done a really good, really slow cover of that. Oh, sorry, Rev. Rev James. Oh, could you imagine this one? And I would vape 500 mils. Oh, I would vape 500 more. Uh, he's, only, he's only vaped 467 so far. <laughs> oh, genius. Come on, we've got to do that as a parody, haven't we? Oh, dear. And I would Chandler, I, I, I expect you to record this, cast to edit it, and we'll have it ready for next week's show. Right, well, um, yeah, I'll record it. It won't be ready for next week's show. Give it three months. <laughs> Give it three months. Maybe six. Yeah. Tops. <laughs> like I say, I mean, you missed this bit, Chandler, but every six months, I just cannot face Final Cut for a month. Mm. I just don't even open it. So, Actually, I've got better at it. I'm pretty sure I could edit your video, Chandler. Send me the footage. Mm -hmm. What, the video? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Chandler, where I'm are the boots? I'm serious. All right, then. Sorry, what? Next Boom. one. Where are the boobs? There's been no boobs. No I boobs. mean, the proclaimers are a right pair of tits, but <laughs> what? Uh, Why is she... is she? That looks like one of those videos, you know, where it's like a dog that's bit a bee. And his lips have got a swollen. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it's a proper, it's a proper Facebook pout, isn't it? It's like, mm -hmm. oh, look, I'm posing. <laughs> But it, it, look, I, I I do a I do a podcast. So if you if you haven't realised, the uh, vaguely vaping related podcast is available on uh, just search for vaguely vaping related podcast. Beep. What I saw was wet wipe. The microphone. Right, that was it. That was it. Purely, I just went microphone podcast. That's that it. is Gotta the most to... obscure connection. It is completely, completely. But that was oh, the entire reason for my it. My God. What? Right, we need to send. A film crew to Mark's house. Why? Mark, I dro Mark, I dropped you off at your house. Why did you not tell me this? But Charlie from the Proclaimers lives over the road from him. We need to get the audio <laughs> from Charlie. 
<laughs> oh, awesome would that be i'm not sure you can knock on his door like wagner puts on facebook those custom <laughs> videos to 30 quid i'm not sure if you turn up at his house give him 30 note he's going to record a new version of the song for us but could we get him to, yeah could we could get him to record uh, uh, vape 500 mils that would that would be awesome oh that would be that would no channel channel i'm seriously giving you the task i want you to record it you want, you want me to record? And I want you to customise all of the lyrics, apart from just the verse. Oh, just my God. Aspect. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, I'll when, have to... When I vape up. Yeah, I know I'm good. When I wake up. Wake <laughs> up. When I wake up. <laughs> Chadda, you honestly, you've got about four days, oh. and then I have three days to edit it. Oh, my God. All right, then. Okay, that could be uh, mildly entertaining. I might uh, I might create a Google Doc with the original lyrics, and we can all kind of chip in and tweak it. What do you reckon? Is that is, yeah, is yeah. that is that like the Wii when you add content to the show notes? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did no, add content. In all, seri in all seriousness, though, I, I I can help you with the lyrics, but you got four days to record it. Right. Okay. That'll be mildly amusing. Orgy wants so, to know. Orgy wants to know where the lift music is. Well, everything huh? broke this evening, oh, yeah. lift so, music. so we can't play audio. And and I'd like to announce as well. Um, we did put it to public vote, and public vote was a fuck yeah, keep the music. So the music will be back. Yeah. <laughs> also, talking yeah. about public announcement, I've got I've got some for now. Yeah, we'll just use this for now. Oh, a fucking adverts, man. <laughs> hang on, hang on, Please hang on, Chris, 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 Chris. Chris. No, 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 Chris, stop. Blah, 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 blah. Go on. We'll, we'll lose monetization, so stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, 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 it'll be fine. We'll do less than 10 seconds. No, yeah, doesn't that, that doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Less than it does. 10 seconds. No one, no one from Emmerdale Farm. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to be coming to us for copyright. It's not been going for about fifteen years. Chris, Chris, do you yeah. what? Do you do you remember it being called Emmerdale Farm, or has it always been? Emmerdale I remember it being called Emmerdale Farm from bottom. Did you catch <laughs> Emmerdale Farm last night? Amazing. Um, random, random side point announcement. It's Stu's what about Cross birthday Rex? today. It's Stu. whose birthday? Stu's. Vulcan Bros. Yeah. Ah. So, happy birthday, Stu! If oh, you're yeah, nice. Nice. Another side note, Dale from the Yorkshire Vapor got engaged. Congratulations. Congratulations, fool. Another, mm. another side note, it's somebody else's birthday tomorrow. Who? What you do is, if it's your birthday, send us in a really over-the-top card, and it'll be like mid-90s kids' TV, where they hold up a card that their parents made them to say happy birthday on TV. Oh, yeah. It's Chandler's birthday tomorrow. So, Chandler, you've got... You gotta get get a card out tonight for tomorrow. Did, him. Sorry, Chandler, did you just pinch iOS's music? No, uh, I pinched that from the gallery. That's uh, that they pinched it from initially. So uh, no, I'm not pinched it. Tony Hart will not be impressed. Not at all. There you go. All right, so, yeah. so let, let's move on to the final show. Things that remind me of vaping, but that aren't really vaping at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Happy maybe. birthday for tomorrow, Chandler. Happy birthday, mm -hmm. mate. Indeed. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd How old are you? 62. 29. When I'm 65. Definitely 29. I would guess. Is Tony Hart still alive? I don't know. I'll think of the Brett Hitman Hart. No, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he? Uh, didn't he fall from a fall from a ceiling of a of a, an arena or something? From no, that was um, the British Bulldog. Was it? No, what's his name? Yeah, oh. no, he he died from a heart attack. Uh, what? Tony him. Hart. Tony Hart died of heart. I don't know oh. who's Tony Hart. Tony Hart and Morph. Tony Hart. Do you know Morph? Morph? Oh, I know. Oh, no, he is, is definitely yeah. dead. Who? What? Morph? Really? Yeah, the creator of Morph has died. Tony Hart. The creator of Morph was uh, Ardman, uh, who did the who no. does the wrong trousers. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Really? 
Yeah. Yeah, he died in 2009. Tony Hart. Well, so he's thing. been dead 10 years, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think we're about there. I think so. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to post a link into chat in a moment. So if anyone wants to join us for 15, 10, 20 minutes or so, I'm going to hang around. I know Chris will. I um, probably won't be. I'm going to be off. Cass is going to go get a blowy. Um, so all good. Thank you very much for joining this car crash of an episode. It's been and awesome, even if it was late. Yeah, we had fun. We had fun. But so those of you who want to come in, we had fun. We had, we had seasons in the sun. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just doing the lift music. Keep going. <laughs> See you next week.